New organization aims to thank 10,000 of America's teachers in a very special way with 10,000 personalized gifts. The Be Kind to People Project plans to rise to that challenge for World Kindness Week, which is actually next week. And Marilyn Waltz is here from the Kansas City, Missouri chapter to tell us about their group. And, and I really would like to know how all of this was formed. Well, yes, it's not uh, that interesting of a story, but it's very personal to me and that my sister and I got together a few months ago and decided that one of the things that we needed to thank were all the teachers who raised us. We were raised in a family of teachers. We're from a small town. Teachers were very important to us, so we wanted to thank the teachers in our lives. Well, you know what? That's very important because they do make a huge difference. The Be Kind to People project, right. what's the goal? Well, so the goal is to, first of all, thank teachers. Mm -hmm. And second of all, to inspire acts of kindness in the classroom. How are you going to do that? Um, and, and, I, and I hear that it's, it's like a movement that's right. it's not just going to be here in Kansas City either. Right, right, exactly. So we're launching in two markets, mm -hmm. Kansas City and Phoenix. I live here. My sister lives in Phoenix. And uh, between us, uh, we're going to have two big events next week for World Kindness Week. The first one is actually Friday. So it's this Friday, November 4th, where 75 women in Kansas City and 400 women in Phoenix are going to get together. We're going to assemble gifts that we're going to deliver to teachers here in the Kansas City, Missouri School District on, on November 7th through 11th. And then on November 12th on the plaza, we're going to have a bus parked where kids can come by and they can sign a I Will Be Kind pledge and also the community can donate school supplies for the Kansas City, Missouri School District. Uh, are, is there something at, at the schools uh, here in the Kansas City area that will remind the children of, of when this will happen? Yes, so in the uh, gifts that we're giving to the teachers for the Kansas City, Missouri school district there is pledge cards so they'll uh, be passing them out to the students in their classroom but other teachers can go to our website which is the be kind people project dot org okay. and there are pledge cards there that they can uh, hand out to their students and this thing what we're looking at right now it, this is the pledge they pledge to be encouraging which is very important right. be supportive be positive thankful respectful I mean those are all like things that um, the children will sign saying yes. I pledge to do this right exactly and when if they uh, sign the pledge card we hope that that will make a little more of a commitment for them because oh. you know how you always hear about don't be a bully well instead of talking about don't be a bully we're going to talk about let's be kind to each other all right well that is great thank yeah, you best sure. of luck Thanks. and the be kind to Kansas City kids event is on Saturday November 12th on the plaza they will be accepting donations of unused school supplies electronic games and sporting equipment for community centers it runs from 10 to 2 near the Penguin Court. That is at Nichols Road and Pennsylvania. It's right across from the fountain there, the main fountain on the plaza. For more information on this project or the event, go to our website, NBCActionNews.com, and click on Scene on 41. We'll be right back.